Sunday, and it's snowing like crazy. I'm sure glad we got all of our running done yesterday. Holy cow, and it's cold out here. It's windy. Yee, burr. I love it when it snows, but I also like it to go away. Having a nice warm cup of coffee, hot cup of coffee on this snowy, snowy day. One smart point. Luna thinks she should be fed like right now, but her, she, we're uh, our fallback, and she doesn't understand that. Her brain does, though, apparently. She really wants that food to turn. <laughs> oh, Luna. I'm sorry, Luna. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta be patient. We're having the frittata again, and it looks pretty darn yummy. We got a little extra cheese on there. It's still five smart points. Yep. Yep. The bottom looked perfect, though. How long did you cook this? Ten minutes at uh, two and a half on the stove. So ten, yeah, ten minutes at the temperature two and a half on our stove, so below medium low, um, kind of. Yeah, about medium low. About medium low. low. And then we put a little <laughs> bit extra cheese because we put ham instead of bacon, so we were able to put a little extra cheese on here. And let me give it a taste. What did you think of it, Corey? Yeah, we have what kind of cheese on here? Asiago and pepper jack. Asiago and pepper jack. One ounce each. And I put a little basil in it. Not much. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is what I love. I love the ham in here instead of the bacon. Perfection right there. And the Asiago is good. The Asiago is really good on this. Try it out. This is also five smart points, but you can, of course, do just one ounce and have less points. I have a half an ounce of pretzels, and I'm catching up on Anita this morning. And Sandy. And then I have to catch up on so many others. A medium banana for zero smart points and 100 calories. Another half an ounce of pretzels, some pineapple, and another coffee. This is part of my lunch. I'm having four ounces of this turkey. I ate some of it, so now it's down to 2.8. But I had four ounces, and it's zero smart points, not zero calories. So I'll figure out the calories on this. All right, we have the homemade tomato soup that I showed you in the cook with me and then a grilled ham and cheese. This whole dish here is 10 smart points because we put a tablespoon of cream, heavy cream in here for two. So this is two smart points and then this is eight. Okay guys, I'm gonna make a frittata just for myself. I'm putting green peppers in it because that's all we had. Ooh, foggy. And then I put Canadian bacon in here. I just sliced it, diced it up. So we'll see how this tastes. I'm about to add my garlic and my spinach over there. This is going to be, this whole frittata here is going to be six smart points for me because I used one ounce of cheese for four, one point for the Canadian bacon, and then a point for the hot sauce that I'm going to put over the top. Six smart points. You can't beat that for a huge breakfast like this. This is the huge plate. I just got back from town. We had to run to the bank and I've got a quad espresso. This is pretty much my lunch. I'm going to have a snack here. It's almost four o'clock and all I had was the frittata so far and this. A third of a cup of pineapples. That's all that's left. I'm making some cauliflower for supper tonight. I have the Fox Point seasoning on it and then I made some taco meat with the 99% fat free turkey. I made this because we are going to have a taco salad, like a Tex-Mex salad. It's going to have some corn, some onions, some cilantro, and just all kinds of that kind of stuff. And spinach, too, because we have to finish up our spinach. Hey guys, we have a five-point taco salad here. I have just a tiny bit of cheese in there, not even a point worth, actually, but I counted it for a point. And then I have two points of the um, sour cream. And then I have one point for the sauce in there. And then, ooh, what else did I have in there? I forget. I think that's it. So I don't think this is even five points. I think this is four points. I'm going to double check and I will put it down below. Things for tonight, a plate full of cauliflower, 
and my malt. Yum. I'm also catching up on Julie until the hubby gets home. Evening guys. Sorry I wasn't on yesterday. I did film though so I'm going to put them both in this video. But first before I got started on the video and showing you my calorie book I needed to show you some things. You, you guys have seen this little planner before. It has the little snaps on it and then it has the place to put your little booklet in here and your card. Like there's a slot in here to put your card in here. And then there's little pockets on either side. So I usually keep my husband's over on this side or I keep money on that side, whichever. So I've been lately putting them in both in one and then putting some money in this one so we could get some snacks if we wanted to get some snacks. I love this thing and you can put your little um, charms right here too. This thing is for, it's a charm holder. So this is the small one that holds these books. Recently I got a package in the mail. It came wrapped in this cute little, got a little heart on it. I love that. And my favorite color, purple. And it came with a little note, a little card. That's the card. So it just says, thank you for showing my organizer on your YouTube, on your YouTube, YouTube channel. And inside this little package, I received not one, not two, but three of these really cool organizers from Lori. And I'm going to give you Lori's information here. But first, I wanted to show you. This also has the little tar charm attachment, so you can hang your charms on there. And then it also comes with a little pen holder now too. And she threw a pen in there for me. This, you guys, fits your weeklies. You could keep, I don't know how many, now that they're so thin, you could keep so many weeklies in here. And then just your little tablets, or maybe you could stick this little thing in there and take this all along. I'm gonna see how bulky this gets if you stick this in there. It works. Look at that. It works really nice. It's not really that thick. It snaps really easily. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Now, I'm going to give my mother-in-law one of these, and I'm not sure. I think I want to keep the butterfly one. I love butterflies. I love butterflies, and I love blue and purple. So I think I might have to keep this one. I might give my mother-in-law this one, and then if my husband will use one, I will give him this one. You guys, these are so nice, and they come packaged so nicely, too. So if you guys want to give these as a gift, she packages them up so nicely. I'm going to open this one and see what this one looks like. This is a male. This one is not feminine at all. It comes the same way, and I'm going to show you. In this little, you know, it's a plastic little thing, so you can put your little, um, your, um, Weight Watchers thing in there as well. But this is Lori Chadwick from My Whimsical Heart. There is the information on that. That's her Etsy channel. That's her Etsy store right here. So check her out, guys. And I'm going to link her store down below. So it's easier for you guys to find so you don't have to type this all in. I will link her channel down below. She does a fabulous job. I've been using this one since I got it. It's still strong as ever. No rips, no tears, no nothing. We use it every single week. We have not missed a meeting since I got this little guy. And I love it. I love, I love the coffee one too. I love, it says mocha on there and java. And it's just so cute. What a great gift this would be for Christmas for anybody. I think it's anybody on Weight Watchers or anybody just for any reason that fits this kind of, you know, that large of size of card. I think it's awesome. It's awesome. Let's see what the pen says. You guys, it says my whimsical heart on the pen. Is that is so cute. Such a neat idea. So cute. What a great idea. 
I want some of these pens that say Weight Watchers with carry on them. I really do. I'm going to check into that. I think they're really cool. Okay, guys. Now, I also need to show you a couple other things that I got in the mail. Check out that envelope and card. This is from Kathleen Farron. Look at that. It's so cute. And it said, Happy 50th birthday. May your day be filled with sunshine and flowers. That is just so cute. Thank you, Kathleen. You've sent me a lot of cute cards. I really love them. You do really good at picking out cards. I love, I love it. Thank you so much. And I have a special, I got a special letter. Now you guys, I really love like old fashioned letters. Envelope. And it just says happy dieting on the back. I think that's cute. I love it. And she sent me, this is from, this is from Tess Weight Loss Journey. I'm going to link her channel down below. She has also lost 125 pounds. She wrote me two page, three page letter. I don't want to read it online because it's kind of personal. So I, it just, it means so much to me and I had so much fun reading it. And I will save it forever and ever. It's going to go in my little card box that I've been saving. Thank you, Tess. This means so much to me. And I love long letters like that. Love them. Love it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tess. I love it. Love it. Oh, that means a lot to me. So that is all I had to show you before I get started on my calorie count. So let me put all of this stuff away real quick and then turn you around and show you my calorie book. All right, guys, this is the fourth. This was Sunday. We had coffee, of course, for 45 calories. We had the frittata, spinach, pepper, onions for 30, ham for 50, eggs for 225, cheese, one ounce for 100, another coffee. I had some turkey. I had pretzels for 110. We had the grilled cheese and soup. The grilled cheese, the bread was 160, butter was 35, banana was 100, pineapple was 100. I had those in between there as well. The malt was 330, and the pretzels were 110. Oh, wait. You know what? I already counted the pretzels. I only had one serving of pretzels, so this one has to go off of there. So I got a minus 110 off of that. And then the soup, I had to add that later because I forgot to add that. The soup was, the veggies were 110. I had, the, the, the Roma tomatoes were actually kind of high in calories, but, you know, it doesn't matter because they're veggies, so they're good for you. Actually, tomatoes are a fruit, but we count them as veggies. Broth was 20, heavy cream was 50, and so it came to 1610 plus the 180 for the soup, 1790. However, I have to have minus 110 off of there, so that would be 1000 680 so that is my new total right there for yesterday okay today I had a coffee my breakfast was the frittata that I showed you on my what I ate so these this is the breakdown of that 270 for the eggs 75 for the ham 30 for the veggies 80 for the cheese and then we went into town. I had to get some stuff done before we leave on Wednesday. Holy cow, we're leaving on Wednesday. Two smart points for that. I get a quad espresso, and then I add a premier protein drink to it. 170, I count the espresso for 10, and the premier protein is 160. Pineapple, 100. I had maybe three quarters of a cup of that because that's all I had left. I wanted to finish it up. And then I had a taco salad for dinner. The veggies were 25. Ground turkey was 150. I had five ounces. Taco seasoning and sauce were 40. Light sour cream, 45 for two tablespoons. Two cups of cauliflower was 70 calories. And four smart points for the taco salad. Two string cheese for a snack, two smart points. I don't think I filmed that, but I had that for a snack after dinner, 100 calories. And then we had a malt, well, a shake. Six smart points, 330, 21 smart points, and then 15, 30 calories. And I don't think I forgot anything. I don't think so. I tried to double check and triple check these things now because I was so wrong on so many of them. 
and I had to do corrections and no physical exercise, but I did get a lot of walking and I did a lot of work around the house again. So I almost got 10,000 steps today just in the house and then walking around the store. So I went to Ulta and a couple other places, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to flip you up here. All right, guys, it is almost time to take off to Florida. We have a whole day tomorrow. I have to get the house finished up totally and then get it ready for my house sitters that are coming to watch the dog and my cat. So, and my chickens too, because my chickens need watching just as much as my dogs do. So we have um, two different house sitters coming. I didn't want to put all of it on one person and they live very close to me. So it all works out great. Really happy with how the days have been going for me. I really, I haven't seen a huge loss on the scale, but I haven't seen a gain either. So that is a major, major plus. Usually after weigh-in, I will jump up like five points right or five pounds right away because I go right back to eating a lot more points than 23 because it's Saturday. It's after weigh-in. Doesn't everybody do that? I used to do that all the time. I've been trying to calm down on that. So the last few weeks, I haven't been doing that as badly. I've been getting an extra water, so maybe that will help as well. I don't know. We'll find out. I haven't been. I haven't still been getting in three 32 ounce glasses like I want to, but I've been getting in at least one and I've been usually starting on a second one, sometimes finishing the second one, but I don't think I've ever finished a third one for weeks now and I need to get better at that. So I'm bringing my water glass with me to Florida because it's going to be warm there and I'll probably want to drink more, right? I'm obviously going to have some diet Dr. Pepper on the trip because I really need that. I really do. It helps keep me on track. Someday maybe I'll break away and break up with Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper. Someday. Maybe I will. I have snacks that I'm going to take along. We're going to take her along little packages of peanuts in case we get hungry in the car. String cheese. We're going to bring um, egg salad sandwich stuff. We're going to bring tuna salad sandwich stuff. We are bringing my mother-in-law with us for the first portion of the trip. The first eight hours, we're going to drop her off at her sister's house because her stepmom is doing really bad, so she has to go up and see her. And so we will probably have dinner at her sister's house, which is my husband's aunt's house. And she is planning on making a Weight Watchers dinner for us, so that should be interesting. I will definitely film what that is and let you guys know. I'm sure it will taste fantastic because she's a pretty good cook. So we're kind of excited about that. We don't know if we're going to be spending the night there or just keep on driving because that's about eight hours. So we wanted to drive 12 hours. We're not sure. It depends on how tired we are. We'll just kind of play it by ear and see how we do. But I will definitely try to get a video out and up there. I'm pretty sure they have some pretty fast internet, at least faster than what we have here. So it shouldn't be a problem. I had a lot to do. I'd run to the bank. Tomorrow I have to run in and get my hair done. And then I'm going to have lunch with my daughter tomorrow before I leave because I always like having lunch with her. A really good friend of hers, brother, passed away. He's only 26, you guys. He had diabetes and he had passed away. Sad, sad, sad. My daughter called me kind of crying on the phone and I felt terrible for her. I didn't really know him that well. I knew his sister well because she came to our house quite a bit when Alex was little. So it was, it was sad. 26 years old. I can't even imagine. Can't imagine. That's way too young. Way, way, way too young. If you guys pray, please pray for that family for me. That is it for tonight. I It's getting kind of late. Oh, I don't have my... Oh, guys, I have to show you something. I got that in the mail today. It's Isn't it adorable? It's cute. Although it's kind of hard to put on by myself. I, ha I kind of struggle with putting it on my wrist by myself. So I have to have either my son help me or... Well, so far, that's the only person that did help me because I just got this today in the mail. It was very, very cheap, and my other one was falling apart and looking like crap because it's it was the um, rose gold, but it was the cheaper version, so it was all stripping, and it looked terrible. So I needed something kind of cute to go to Disney World, so that's the one I got. Isn't it cute? I love it. It's so cute. Adorable. And the same thing on that side. Really cute. 
and it fits me really well. It's a little loose on this one, but if I try to put it on this one, it's too tight. So, I mean, look at that, that's tiny. So I put it on the second loop here and it fits me just right. Well, actually it's a little bit loose, but I can deal with that. I can deal with that. It's better than having it tight. And 8,700 steps so far today. And guys, I have 17 flights of steps because I've been running up and down my steps from five o'clock this morning. We got up, last night we went to bed at 7.30 at night. 7.30 because of the time change, we were so tired. So we jumped in bed at 7.30, ended up waking up about 5 or 5.30, and then I came down and had to finish up my cook with me, which was supposed to be out by 6, but I think I got it out by 6.30 because I didn't have my thumbnail done, which I thought I did, but I didn't. So we got it out there by 6.30, and then I put the recipe on my website. So check out my recipe on the website. You can actually print out the recipes on that website, so it's really cool. And I linked it in the cook with me video. So check out that video. It's the video, um, how to make the frittata that we made. And the recipe link is down in the description box along with my website information. So check that out. That is it for tonight, guys. I will talk to you guys tomorrow and it should be a busy day tomorrow. So the video may be short and sweet <laughs> because I'm going to be super busy. I have to go get, like I said, I got to go into town again, but I have so much stuff to do here at home. I haven't even packed yet, so I have to get that done. And then Wednesday morning at 7 a.m., we're going to be taking off. Probably, well, if they have fast internet, my video may be out there before I go to bed that night, tomorrow night. So that would be cool. Not tomorrow night, Wednesday night. Tomorrow night. I'll be doing my video. You probably won't see it until the next morning. So you might get two in one day because if I can get that one out there on Wednesday early enough and upload it early enough, because it'll probably be short. I got Luna a bone. She's been working on it all day. She's right down here. She leaves me alone. She's been working on that all day. So funny. And so, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to close it up here before I I could talk all day. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to share this if you think anybody may enjoy this channel. And check out my Facebook group. The link is down below in the description box. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. So why you keep playing, boy? Walking around.